Welcome back, villagers, and hi, new villagers. Scared your toddler will climb out of their crib? Where do they sleep next? Twin bed, toddler bed, floor mattress? Is a toddler bed really necessary? So many possibilities. Let's talk about it. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell for more great parenting tips. I'm Jade, and this is my village. To toddler bed or not to toddler bed? That is the question. This seems to be a long-standing debate, so what's the answer? Well, the answer will be different depending on your situation, meaning your budget, how much space you have, and your child. So I'll tell you when it's a good idea to buy one and when it's maybe not. But before I get into the pros and cons and other options, let's start with is your child even ready to leave the crib? And at what age do toddlers make that bed transition? Well, you're probably watching this video because your baby suddenly thinks he's a ninja and is thinking about or has tried escaping his crib. Well, this happens between one and two years old normally. And if you're like me, then you're just thinking of all the bad and scary things that could happen if they do succeed in pretending to be Spider-Man. Some babies love the crib though and can stay in a bit longer so you'll have to judge whether or not you think that your baby is ready and mature enough to leave those four barred walls most do this though between ages 18 months and three years old both of mine made the bed transition not long after their second birthday but how about some great things about toddler beds well first you can just take that mattress right out of the crib and pop it into the toddler bed which is nice this means that they'll take up the same amount of floor space as the crib it also means that it'll be easier to change these crib sheets than it would be to change them on a big giant twin bed the toddler beds are low to the ground so it's easy for those short chubby legs to climb in and out of and let's be honest they're likely to fall out of it and onto the floor at some point so you don't want it to be too high anyway unless you have rails which we'll talk about more on how to prevent that later but they also come in a variety of imaginative designs like boats, castles, characters, and they fit snugly into little small spaces or rooms. You might also consider just putting that crib mattress on the floor. Why not? Doesn't get safer than that really, <laughs> falling out. And you'll be spending exactly zero dollars for that new bed. Or you could even put a twin mattress on a floor for extra roll around space. The other option is the twin sized or bigger bed. If your child is super tall, then that taller bed won't last you long at all since they need room to move around, which is more difficult to climb into the twin bed, but it's not impossible. And it doesn't have uh, bed rails unless you buy some. The twin bed will last your child a lot longer than the toddler bed which would need to be replaced around oh five years old or so depending on height and the twin bed could cost you almost the same amount of money as a toddler bed depending on what you go with so the twin bed could stick around through adulthood actually a long time if you choose well although the mattress should be replaced after about 10 years but that's still longer than just a few years that you get with the toddler bed really now this bigger bed twin or full will take up a lot more floor space in the room so keep that in mind and at this age they will likely use that space for playing and moving around in the room so you'll also have to buy new bedding and risk the mattress being ruined by all those eventual pee pee accidents or get a pad to go under there but maybe you need your current crib mattress too for a new baby and you don't want to own two crib mattresses another pro is that you can fit you can fit into this bigger bed with your child if you needed to and she would only have to transition beds the one time but what about the crib that turns into a taller bed oh yeah well i bought one of those but couldn't use it because the second child needed the crib but now i actually did convert the crib into a taller bed for this second child what i don't like though is that it really seems huge compared to the taller bed and i'm considering replacing it with a cheap little taller bed just to get some visual space in the room i don't know we'll see but maybe i'll just wait until the oldest grows out of his i don't know but yet another option 
is to buy one of those taller beds that stretches out later to fit a twin size mattress. For some of us, that is the winning ticket right there. Best of both worlds. So if you're planning to spend a lot of money on a taller bed, well then it might not be worth it for you. You may wanna use that investment for a twin or a full bed instead, but if you can find a taller bed that's pretty inexpensive, then you may wanna go that route just for the convenience it brings to your little angel, like I mentioned. There's always a family somewhere trying to get rid of theirs that you could just gladly take off their hands. Plus, you likely already have the mattress and the sheets for it, so why not really? Speaking for myself, I am more than happy about having toddler beds just because it leaves so much more play space in the room and they like to climb in and out of it for different reasons, not just for sleep, but all day long. I also like that it has a little built-in rail because at two years old, my son still sleeps all over, the bed, all over the bed and not just at the head of the bed. So I put my pregnancy pillow along that open edge that's not against the wall, no falling out now. You can also buy one of those nifty bed rolls if you just, you know, like spending money. But <laughs> my oldest son had the same problem. But now at almost four years old, he stays at the head of the bed and almost never falls out. Which brings me to my last point. Also consider what kind of sleeper your angelic toddler is. My oldest, he kind of sleeps in a ball and likes to be covered up with lots of pillows and blankets at the head of the bed. But his brother spreads out all of his limbs and takes up as much space as he can. So if you have one of those kind of sleepers and they're already pretty big, then you might not get as much use out of the toddler bed, unless you're planning to pass it down to the next kid, which could work. I made this video because I bought a toddler bed for my first child, and now I'm really wondering if I should do it again, now that my second one is obviously too old for his crib, which we've turned into a toddler bed, but remember, there's no right answer for any child or any family. You have to consider all the pros and the cons that are particular to you guys, and then make your decision. Now, share this video with everyone that's a part of a child's life. Share your own ideas about toddler beds in the comments, and let me know if you have questions or struggles. Now, hit that subscribe button and the bell for more great parenting tips. You can go ahead and watch my next video now.